So to start off, I'm just gonna mix my dry ingredients together, starting with two cups of flour, along with one cup of light brown sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. And I'm just gonna whisk that all together until combined. Next up, I'm going to start with my wet ingredients, and I'm going to mix together the eggs, along with a half a cup of vegetable oil, and then a teaspoon of imitation butter extract and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I found my butter extract at Publix. Then I'm just gonna add a half a cup of buttermilk to that and I'm going to mix that with my whisk attachment on medium speed until combined. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of my dry ingredients along with half a cup of cream soda. I'm going to be adding a little bit of my dry and then a little bit of the cream soda back and forth until both of those are completely combined to our wet ingredients. Then I'm just going to scrape down the sides of my bowl and add a cup of toffee bits to this and then mix those in just using my spatula. Then I'm just going to fill my cupcake liners about two thirds way full and I'm going to 20 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. While that's baking we can start our bottom layer of icing. I'm just going to be adding three teaspoons of heavy whipping cream along with two cups of butterscotch chips and I'm going to pop that into the microwave until it's completely melted. So then in my stand mixer, I'm just going to cream together two sticks of softened butter. And then to that, I'm going to be adding five cups of powdered sugar. And I'm just going to be adding about a cup at a time until I get to my right consistency. And then I'm just gonna add in one teaspoon of my butter extract. Then just to make it a little bit smoother, I'm just gonna be adding a third cup of cream soda to this. And I'm gonna mix that all together until combined. You can keep adding your powdered sugar until it gets to your desired consistency. I'm just going to be beating this on a high speed so that it gets light and fluffy. And then lastly, I'm going to be adding in that melted butterscotch mixture that we melted in the microwave. And once that's combined into my powdered sugar mixture, I'm gonna scrape down the sides of the bowls and I actually did need a little bit more powdered sugar just to make it exactly how I wanted it. Then I'm just going to be piping a very low type of swirl with my round circle tip. And once those are piped on, I'm gonna pop them into the fridge for about 15 minutes. After those have chilled for 15 minutes, I'm just going to drizzle my butterscotch drizzle on top of this. I just use the Smucker's butterscotch drizzle, and then again, you're gonna wanna pop those back into the fridge for another 15 minutes. Then lastly, for the topping of our cupcakes, I'm just going to be whisking together two cups of my heavy whipping cream, and you'll know when this is done, it gets a lot more thick than how it started. As you can see, it is already thickening, and then it's gonna look like that. And then you're just gonna wanna add in about a half a cup of powdered sugar to that and just mix on a very, very low speed until it's all combined and that's it. You're just gonna wanna add your whipped cream topping to your cupcakes and this is what makes it really look like that butter beer. I think that these are so adorable and I really hope that you guys try them.